Hello and welcome to this video playing the Fire Tiger. Here's a new opponent. Good rating. Is there a new guy? New guy? Oh, he's, got, he's got tons of games. So <laughs> just a coincidence that I have never, um, never played him. So we have a declined Banco here. And, uh, with an early A form. This is there are various versions of this position with A4, with Queen C2. It's um it's um somewhat irritating at times the the different uh versions. But okay, so I'm going to try to trade here well, maybe knight to e3 can avoid this trade and he can try a5 next something like that okay prepare knight a6 to b4 Queen a6 might also be an option. Hmm, not quite sure if a queen trade would help my cause. Doesn't look all that bad, actually. Queen to a6, if he castles, for example. Looks very normal to castle. And, uh, I mean, he can avoid the queen. Yeah, but come on. What, what about knight a4? Why is that not a move here? Because of b3. Okay. Still, it's kind of a self pin here. No, b3, I can take the rook actually. All right, so I'm slow here. So, why can I not take? I mean, okay, I'm I'm really in a pin then. <laughs> Maybe this is the problem, and I need to prepare it. Okay. Let's prepare. Yeah, knight a four. It is a pretty awkward self pin. And now actually. I think I'm threatening knight a4 as after whatever I play rook b1 b8 yeah, and pin him with this knight. It's a controversial position, but it's very interesting, I think. And, uh, I believe I should be okay here. Yeah. I would be quite surprised if this is a bad position for black. Don't don't I also don't see uh, many obvious moves for him. Yeah. So what what can he do? Like bishop b bishop d two hangs b two. Well, what is he playing here? He covers the queen. So this means that knight c seven could be um on the cards. So rook b eight maybe. Yeah? This this was. There is no tactic here, yeah, knight d6 or whatever, no. So rook b8, that, that feels kind of logical anyway. And now I'm definitely threatening knight a4. And he cannot play b3 still. Yeah, looks a little bit awkward for white. Yes, but I'm still I'm still having all the all these pins going. Isn't knight a4 a move? Knight c7 would actually cost the b2 pawn. But what move doesn't cost the b2 pawn? He can, of course, take, but this is a very nice position then for me. Okay, I can also drop the knight back. And knight c3. So this is the thing. This is more active. So let's do it. <clears throat> so queen takes... I guess queen takes him. 
attacking queen and rook. He can go queen c2, but I'm still having huge pressure on the on the b file. Yeah, so knight e5, yeah, definitely. Or not. Yeah, still, still. I mean, I'm having all this pressure, so let's do this first and get every everybody in. On a bishop move, I can go king of eight or something. Yeah, okay, b2. I can't, he give, he's giving me b2 here in this position. Is there any reason not to take it? Don't see it. No, I'm taking this. So I want to check. check. Looks normal. And now, let's see. I can play f6, just like stopping this mechanically. Or play in a more dynamic way. Rook b1 looks good though. Yeah, rook b1 is a good move, I think. This uh, tries to trade off the supporting rook. And if I get in knight f6, I might just win stuff. This is this, this also kind of, kind of weak, the center. Yeah, rook b1, I think was, was a good decision. E5, now I take E1 and take E5, uh, take the pawn on E5. Okay, maybe knight A5, C6 huh, is his idea. Okay, taking is, looks like the easiest solution. And now knight to F6. I just want this pawn. e5, I'll take and take d5, and uh, take and d5, maybe he will take with the knight, knight takes knight d5, knight c6, hmm, yeah, maybe, I can go knight e4 as well, this is also very sensible looking option, which is actually threatening rook b1, it's a pretty serious threat. Yeah, okay. That does look quite good. Rook b1, he has no bishop move because bishop g1 will end in a checkmate. I think it's a checkmate. If not, it's a very strong attack at least. Okay, so he prevented this. Um, what now? Is he having some kind of active idea? Knight c2, I guess. So I'm going to cover this. Okay, so this is, wants to go around here or something. Rook b2. Rook b2 is actually good. I think. Threatening rook a2. And if he moves the knight, I go to b1. Look a2 at... Time warning. That must be awkward. Unless he... Oh. He's miracle, miracle chess. But I've lost to miracle chess quite often. So what's going on here? Knight c3. Shoot, this is actually somewhat dangerous. Okay, let me play this first. If I take this a7, this is actually really promoting. Unbelievable. nonsense <laughs> what 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 is happening here I really I really don't know sometimes it was a totally clean win and I screwed it up <sighs> I've got 
three seconds. Check. Check. Black forfeits on time. What kind of nonsense. Oh my God. Bishop b6, yeah, from this position. Oh my God. <sighs> I mean, okay, this is really, really unbelievable. Bishop f2 is already made almost. I, I just think, okay, here he resigns. I mean, okay, this this also doesn't work, but it, it's like, uh, what? So what does win bishop e3 is like minus a million, yeah. There should be a win, but I didn't see it. I just didn't see it. This is this is a threatening mate, yeah. This is the problem. This is a threatened shake mate. Yeah, this is actually very easy. Okay, I cannot take. There's a7. And uh, this. Bishop e3 is always winning. And this, this is also, knight f4 still wins. But by now I was totally confused. And why don't I take here, actually? This is also still simple. I, sometimes I really get totally irritated when my opponent plays this kind of desperate last shots move. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, and this is like winning a million times. And, uh, even this end game is better for black. But by now I was totally unnerved. Yeah, the whole game was... Uh, yeah, what can you say? He just got totally killed. What can you say? Yeah, here I'm, I'm fine, and after knight a4, black just has a strategically winning position. Check. And, um, I, I think I did a decent job there, actually. This just makes it all the more annoying, because he had absolutely zero chance in this game. Absolutely not a single threat the whole game. And then this bishop b6 nonsense, I, I'm getting so irritated. Yeah, pff. bishop b3 wins, whatever, everything wins. But uh, I didn't find it. I was also thinking this, but uh, yeah, the, the key is always if you ask the engine, this is threatening mate. Bishop f4 is mate. This is the problem. He just gets checkmated here. Oh, I wanted to play for mate, but this is this was so irritating. I don't know. It's hard for me to get rid of this. If I would, I would easily be close to 2,500 all the time, really easily. Okay, thanks for watching.